Hey guys, it's Bob here. Um, I just wanted to do a quick little video of uh, my collection of uh, bass guitars I have. As you can see, I have a few of them. Um, I am missing one bass right now. Um, my One of my friends that plays guitar and I jam with him. <coughs> you know, every now and then, uh, he has my uh, Squire Vintage Modified Telecaster bass. So that one I don't have here. And my Beetle bass right now needs strings. So that one's not going to show either. So as you can see, um, here's what I have on me right now at home. So as you can see, the purple one is uh, is my newest bass. Um, that is a Squire Infinity Jazz Bass, uh, Passive Bass. Uh, I just got that recently. and. Um, it's actually a pretty good bass. I put Robosound um, 66 uh, swing bass on there, and I've used that for a couple shows, and um, it did, did the job pretty well. You know, I always like the jazz bass type of style, and I always like that type of tone. Um, so, uh, with something that's less than $200, I uh, highly recommend it. It'd be like a jazz bass type of style. Uh, my next bass is uh, one of my uh, favorite basses. It's an active bass. It's my Dean Catacomb uh, 10A PJ uh, Active Dean. Um, this bass, I've had this, I say over a year now. <coughs> Uh, I've good with it. Uh, it's pretty nice. It's got the same kind of neck as uh, jazz bass, so it has that slim taper, like a uh, C-shaped profile, like uh, the purple jazz bass there, well, violet, whatever, American New Best, whatever you want to call it. Um, that this that bass right here, the Dean bass, has uh, has a P setup, P bass setup towards the front and it's got the jazz bass in the back I don't know if you can really see it the way the camera is um, and it also has a two band uh, EQ and um, has a bass boost um, that bass takes a 9 volt battery and um, it's a uh, pretty cool looking too it looks like something that uh, I should be playing in like a Black Sabbath or Black Label Society with Zach Wilde. And my next bass, I've had this bass for about seven months. Seven months and maybe almost eight. It's a Samick, Greg Bennett, uh, failing bass. Uh, I've had this bass, like I said, roughly about seven, eight months. It's a fly string. Passive bass. Um, it has two single coil jazz bass type of uh, pickups, you know, and set up just like a jazz with a volume for each pickup and a master tone. Um, for a five string, it's probably one of the best five strings I played. I played some of you know, some other five strings over the years. Back to my guitar player uh, that I play with. Uh, in Red Shack, he has an Ivan in his 5-string, and he actually likes mine better. He says he likes the sound better, and you know, cuts through better, and um, it has a really nice neck for a 5-string, and I have pretty small hands, and I can pretty much get around with it. And my last bass that I have here is a Stingray copy of uh, Dr. Tech. Um, I got this uh, about four months ago. Uh, my wife got it for me. She found it in town where I live at a consignment shop. Um, I got the base for I think a little under $100. Um, it's a passive base. 
Um, pretty much looks pretty much like a stingray. The only thing difference is the machine heads go four across instead of three across and one on the bottom. But it's got the same type of pickup configuration, same type of uh, patrol setup. Even <coughs> excuse me, you can't really see it, but even the bridge looks like a music band. Um, it's not a bad bass. You know, it's something to kick around with. I've actually gigged with it. I, uh, one full show, I gigged with it. Um, it's pretty good, you know. Uh, basically, too, uh, you know, something happened to it. Well, it's not like it's a $1,500 or a $2,500 uh, real music man single right. And like I said, I have my Rogue Violin bass, but that right now needs strings. And that's not together right now. And like I said, my Squire Telecaster, Vintage, vintage Modified Telecaster bass is at his house. He wanted to use it to do some bass tracks. He uh, was doing some demo work and was doing his own stuff. So basically, all these bases that I have here are uh, all, all under $300 or right about $300. Um, like I said, um, I guess I'm kind of like the cheap, uh, cheap type of, uh, guy, you know, um, I don't have a lot of cash right now, you know, uh, not working, and, um, uh, yeah, so it's kind of hard to get, you know, high quality, uh, bases or base amps, you know, um, but, um, these do the job for what I do, you know. Um, I've used every one of these bases to gig out. I haven't had any problems, and uh, so I just wanted to show you this um, part of my collection. You know, it's not a crazy collective, but I do like bases, you know, so I just thought I'd show you that, and uh, that's it. So, uh, hope to see you around, and, uh, and uh, everybody have a good one, and I'll catch you later to the next video. Have a good night.